my name is Big. I am going to show you how you can add uh, a, short, a small frame of yourself on top of the video games that you play on your iPad or your iPhone, which you have recorded with the screen recording functionality on your iOS device. So at first, um, of course you need an iPhone or an iPad, and I'm going to show you how you can use your screen recording, but you probably already figured that out. So once you have saved your recording on your iOS device, your iPad or your iPhone, then what you do is make sure that that video that has just been saved to your photos gets over to your iMac or your MacBook Pro or your, uh, your MacBook Air and make sure that it's on your downloads or in your photos folder anywhere on your computer okay so once it's on your computer you have your screen recording and then of course you can edit it in iMovie but how can you make sure that you add another video of yourself okay so here's how it goes QuickTime player um, has that functionality so what you see here is myself of course this is a screen I mean this is a, a video recording using your webcam on top of your screen which is now recording myself of course but that's exactly how you record yourself so if you would say you are gaming and you want live commentating on your game you need to record the the uh, the video recording from your iMac or your MacBook Pro your webcam you need to start recording at the same time as you are starting the recording on your iOS device okay so you're playing the game on your iPad on your iPhone and in the meantime your Mac is recording you so it's two separate devices recording you at the same time okay it's also possible to do the other recording not at a different time, but if you want natural reactions or a response to what you're doing, your gaming, you need to do it right at the same time, okay? All right, so once you've stopped recording your game, of course, you can stop recording yourself. So then you, when you're behind your computer and the file has been transported through your computer using AirDrop, easy, okay? Um, you go to iMovie, <clears throat> alright, you're starting iMovie, it's a free application, and you're going to click on a new project, start a new film, okay, <clears throat> enter that new project and everything is empty, you're seeing two things on the screen here, at my own screen, so this part, the first part, the bottom part, is the, the movie that you've just been listening to but the most important is that, that if this is your gaming content and you want something on top of that there's a very simple functionality in um, iMovie and it's called video overlay settings okay so you sh it's, it's standard it's, it's in cutaway okay so what that does is once, once your video is playing it cannot show you both frames at the same time you see so here's back to the one back to the other one but if you click on picture in picture you see you can you can change how, how large it is where it is in the screen and then if you just leave it at this and we're going back here and we're gonna hover you see that it's over there so it's now a picture in a picture so that's exactly what the gaming is all about all right so well i hope this helped and i wish you the best of luck on your own making your own videos and if you need any help i would gladly like if you leave a comment down below i'll just respond to it and help you as much as i can it's fairly easy so just drop those two videos in your iMovie go to picture in picture settings and, and change where you want it and you're kind of you're done you can upload it to YouTube whatever you want so good luck guys take care